Speed racer. Hold on. Come here. Come here. Six week update. <laughs> So, Junie Junie here is six weeks old yesterday, and yesterday we've had her for a week. And so, I figured perfect timing. Nanny. And you see, she's a ferocious little fat bellied puppy. And before she got tired really easily, it was only her second day here when we did the video and it was easy to tire her out and it's not so easy anymore. <laughs> she has played and she has eaten and she won't go settle down to do the video. This is probably as settled as we're gonna get. Do you smell? You see the camera? So she was 14.4 ounces the last video on Thursday. So, told dive. So, on Monday, she weighed in at 15.9 ounces, so almost a pound. But it is now Thursday, and she is a fat, sassy little mama. I'm thinking she's at least over a pound now, if not more. <laughs> she eats like a ferocious little pig. She eats wet food and dry food. And I will insert a clip to show you what she eats. Go from this to this. I take my little kitchen scissors because I have like three pairs and I cut them into four. And I make at least two tablespoons worth at a time. Cause she may even go through this in between each wet food eating. She usually does. So I usually cut two tablespoons up while she's eating the wet food. And she'll graze on this until her next wet food eating and then I will cut up another two tablespoons while she eats the wet food. Trying to get them TVs in, huh? We trying to get them TVs in? Nanny's TVs are already in. Yes, you an old lady. What? I'm not gonna pick you up while I'm cooking, making you food. No. 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 You're gonna have to wait. Hmm. This is Bananies. And then I cut her up some so she can have some. And then the water. So we set the big ones, but I was afraid she was gonna get it drowned. And then we'll put this down with her wet food when it's time to eat wet food. Which I still put some cut up of the dry food in it just so she gets used to the crunch crunch all the time. She's doing really good. Look at how fat she's getting. Getting fat. She still wants to eat the big girl food because Banani does. She's getting there. She's getting almost all her teeth. She eats. Okay, so in a four hour period, she eats two to three teaspoons of wet food with a sprinkle of crushed dry food on top. And then, <laughs> Ow! oh, you hear the beeping? That's, that's our dinner being done. Um, and then in between those, I put out two to three tablespoons of cut up <laughs> Bananas dry food just because she really wants to eat it and the she she has um, she loves Bananas food <clears throat> she has fallen in the bowl trying to get to Bananas food so I cut it up and have a little bowl next to Bananas bowl that she grazes on and eats pretty much at least two tablespoons in that four hour period before it's time to eat her wet food again. So this little tiny itty bitty thing consumes a lot of food. Um, I'll insert a picture of what, what food she eats. Um, I should take a picture of the 
dry food and insert it here too. Um, the, the reason that, that Banani eats the, um, that dry food is because it has higher calories, it has more protein in it, and it has no dye in it. So, Banani is good for that, which is also good for little tiny energetic puppies who are trying to teeth on mommy's finger. <laughs> we do have chew toys. We do not have any chew toys that have... Um, if it is, uh, say, pressed bone or something, it cannot have any bleach or dye in it, um, for Banani's sake. And really, it's not good for little growing puppies either. So we have one that is, um, a chewy tree inside and, ow, a chew toy on the outside. So they can get, they get something out of That's how she wakes me up, I swear. We were, I was, I, because so she would actually sleep because she really, she left her mommy too early and she really attached to me as mommy within a, at least a day. She knew exactly who her new mommy was and who to go to when she needed momminess time. Oh, oh I thought she was being sweet. No, she wants to eat my hair in my ear. But that fat puppy belly, she did not have that before. Look at that, it's a giant. It gets bigger every day. <laughs> so, because she is six weeks, she will be going into the vet soon and I will probably have that on my blogs as much as the vet will let me film if she even films, lets me film at all. But she's gonna go to the same vet that, that one does. There is a, a cheaper clinic that we go to for just simple yearly shots. That's like super cheap. Um, but for anything else, any extra shots, or if Banani gets sick, we have a specific vet we go to that we took Shadow and Cinnamon to when we first got here. Shadow and Cinnamon also passed away in those vets office because they were older and need to be put to sleep, unfortunately. But they did such a good job with them that I take my dogs there. My mom takes them to her dogs to another vet but I really like that one. So she'll be going and getting her first puppy shot soon because she is six weeks. I haven't decided if I wanna start them at six weeks or eight weeks. And the only reason I am debating starting at six weeks, even though I know there are like distemper, the vet won't do until eight weeks, is because I haven't had her long and I'm worried about worms and they deworm on the six weeks. And I want to make sure this fat puppy belly is just food and not worms. You know right. It doesn't look big enough to be worms, but I'm a worrier when it comes to my babies. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. This one is a ferocious little player. And she, at first, Banani didn't know what to do with her when it came to playing, but she really liked to cuddle with her. And so all they did was cuddle together, even though this one wanted to play. She was nervous because she is literally 11 and a half pounds smaller than her. But we found a toy. You want mommy to show your new toy that you play with Sissy? Do you want mommy to show your new toy? Where is it? Go get your egg. Go get your egg. Go ahead, go get it. So, at Walmart, it was just funny, at Walmart, they have these little toys. They are shaped like um, turkey drumsticks. Hold on. Nina Boo. They are chairs like eggs and turkey drumsticks and other things. And I'm trying to get her in the shot because I know y'all love the Nanny New. She, and it crinkles. Used to have a squeaker, but literally within five minutes, Banani broke the squeaker. But like this little minion loves it and wants to err -er -er with it. And this little minion loves to err -er -er with it too. Go get it. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm literally getting a text in right now that says, Mama, I need a puppy fix. Meaning that's my mother. My mom called, my mom just texted me saying she needed a puppy fix. Need puppy fix. She's so adorable, everybody loves her. And because I showed her off, um, a lady from work and one of my friends also adopted her litter mates and we had a sister day of her and my friend's little doggy came over and they played and had fun. But what broke my heart was that when Kurt was leaving with her puppy, she literally, they cried because they wanted to stay with each other, which is so sad. But I am so happy that they will be able to grow up together and play together and have fun together still. Now you get tired, now that I'm almost done with the video. <laughs> but I took a, a week's picture of the difference and I can't even like, I can hold her in one hand, but I can't hold her the way I was holding her because she's gotten too big. So getting fat and sassy. Already sassy, you just got fat. <laughs> what? What? You want mommy's hair? No. No, that's mommy's hair. That's not yours. It's mine. Her little legs cracking up. These tiny little midget legs. Because they're shorter than what, you know, her body. They're not proportionate to her body. She's got chihuahua legs. <laughs> and they don't stretch out very far. And when she, they go to, like, stretch out to you, it's hilarious. Because they don't go very far. That's it. That's as far as they go. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So we actually, and I totally wish I would have filmed this, um, today I trimmed her nails for the first time because they were getting long and she was trying to climb the couch with them and that's not a good idea for a one pound little puppy. Will you stop eating my ear? Okay. So they are nice and trimmed now. They're nice and trimmed. So they're almost to the quick like they're supposed to be. Now, if Banani would let me, and I'm glad that all of her little nails are clear, so they'll be a lot easier to trim as she's getting older. Because Banani only has two clear nails, and the rest are black. And she hates her nails trimmed, so it's really hard to trim her nails, and I tend to take her to the vet to do it. So when this little girl goes to the vet to get her shots and deworming and whatnot that she needs to get, that one over there is gonna get her nails trimmed. All right. <laughs> she wants to get and play, so I'm gonna let her go and play and see you guys in the next video. Say peace out, homies. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Say bye, Nanny. <laughs>